Kayla, with the morning off as uh, we talk to Titans captain Jeffrey Simmons joining us here this morning for a couple of minutes. Jeff, what's up, man? How are you? I'm doing great, man. First off, y'all gave Kayla the uh, weekend off. Jeff. Jeff, hear me, hear me <laughs> out, man. Not only a Friday, but a holiday, too. Like That's like the ultimate squeeze. That's a long weekend. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we know those She's types living her of best people. Life. Like, I ain't mad at it because your days off is your days off. But, Jeff. I'm, you, not, I'm messing with it. I love like, You got to have them days off. Got to have them. You side-eyed, though, huh? I'm hearing it in your voice. <laughs> Uh-huh. What'd you say? I say you a side eye though. I hear it in your voice. I uh, man, you know, it's the same thing with us though. You know, we get them off days. <laughs> they get they get a little too long and people start getting comfortable. So you just gotta make sure you <laughs> you, you, you check on people on their off days. Make sure they ain't getting too comfortable. Okay. I heard that. I'm Absolutely. That. Uh well Jeff, uh wanna talk about first uh the event you've got coming up September sixteenth at Hall's Chop House here uh in Nashville, your inaugural fundraiser. For your nonprofit, give them a reason. Uh, really, really cool stuff, Jeff. Just uh, tell us about this cause, about what you're, you've you got going on with this event and how people can get involved. Honestly, man, um, so I'm going to just start off with the reason why um, I came up with the name, give them a reason. You know, um, throughout my life, I had a lot of adversity and I had a lot of things where I had to just to prove people, not just the type of football player I am, but the person I am and um you know when in life you just have to uh sometimes give people a reason to see the other side of you give people a reason to um trust you give people a reason to just believe in you that you know you are who you say you are and when I first thought of a name I was like I don't really know but then you know I was just going back and forth with my marketing team and I was like I like give them a reason because it just you know, when you're talking to kids back in um, your hometown or you're talking to kids here, you know, no matter if it's, a, if it's around sports, if it's around um, if it's around anything that, you know, they want to do in life, you know, it's not going to be handed to you. And one of the things that I always tell, you know, people who I talk to, the kids who I talk to, you know, give these people a reason to be able to give you a scholarship. Give someone a reason to be able to trust you to come in their business and and help them run their business, you know, be a spotlight for their business. So that's the reason why I came up with that name. And I just, um, like I said, my message to the youth or whoever I'm talking to, you know, um, is it family or whoever, just give whoever or, or whatever in life you're trying to do a reason to be able to give you the opportunity. And um, like I said, that's how I came up with the name of to give them a reason for my foundation because, of course, my foundation is surrounded by youth, um, you know, when I, like I said, when I first thought, when I first started it, I, I was trying to find out what I wanted to do with my foundation, but I already knew what I wanted to do because I have been already doing it. Um, I've been working with the kids. I've been doing football camps. You know, I've been, I do small giveaways or whatever it may be. And I was like, you know, I just stick with the kids. This is where my heart at. This is where I love. I love working with the kids. And like I said, that's, that's how I came up with the foundation. And, you know, like my motto is just, I want to just try to, keep creating opportunities for our youth and you know one of the things that when you talk to a kid you know i, I just I, I never forget it i was at my football camp and he was like man i just don't know if i want to play football he said i'm so big this and that you know and one of the things that it touched me because like you know why no one else is trying to build this kid's self-esteem and that's one of my biggest things for me you know i i, I know who i am and i'm very confident in who i am so my job is to keep trying to inspire you to keep building that self-esteem for themselves. So um, that's, like I said, that's the reason why building, building self-esteem is also in that, in my motto and in, in the reason why, you know, I, I want to do my, I mean, I started my foundation. And of course, you know, when you, when you talk about this with me, when I talk about trying to create opportunity, you know, one of the biggest things is that I want to do with my foundation is I want to build a center back in, um, and where I grew up at in Nashville County, in Macon, Mississippi. So, and, you know, of course, like, I could just, you know, decide, come on, we could get out of pocket. But one of the things, the great thing about a foundation, you know, you can have people who are willing and, you know, want to help. And that's the reason why you have these types of fundraisers. You know, it's not about me. It's not about, you know, just, oh, Jeffrey Simmons or for the tennis time. It's about, 
me trying to create the opportunity for our youth and trying to help raise money for our youth to be able to do things like that. And so we could create them opportunity because, like, man, it's, 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 it, people don't understand when I tell them this, though, but, like, when I get on social media, especially, I still got a Facebook. I know I'm a little young. But people are like, why are you still on Facebook? You, that's for the old people. <laughs> but, but I do it because I also have a fan page on there, but I also I have a lot of people that I still follow from my, uh, from Mississippi. And when I get on there and I see, some of these, uh, some of our youth, you know, throwing away their lives to the streets. Is it, and I just think of it like, I think what what could they be doing in this in making in a small town making Mississippi, and instead being in the streets. So, you know, when I just think about things like that, I'm like nothing because they don't have nothing down there to distract them or to keep them busy. And then all they know right now is the streets, the streets, the streets. So. And that, that's one of the things that um, this year that I really have been honing on to, just trying to talk to my marketing team, PR team, just, you know, I want to I wanna be able to do these type of fundraisers because I want to try to really get something going. And not just in Mississippi, but um, the town, that I mean, the city that I'm playing in. You know, I, I love Nashville, and you know, that's the reason why I wanted to do this foundation here because, you know, I, I haven't done, like, a football camp. I haven't really – I haven't done a, a, some small stuff here and there here, but – you know, I really just want to bring something bigger to Nashville, um, and I and I'm big on just doing something hands on. So, you know, whatever we, um, ideas that you know people could bring to me or my my marketing team bring to me, I'm always you know yes, I want to do this, I want to do this because like I said, I'm, I'm not I, and God's been around me. They know I'm not all about the just you know publicity of it. You know, I I do it because I care and I. Like I just want better for all youth because they are all future. So I said that's I know that was long winded, but that's the reason why I kinda of started my foundation and that's the reason why I'm trying to continue to help raise money for my foundation. And um that's the reason why we're having this event here at um Hollow Shop House. Uh, of course you guys invited. Um, you know, I want to see you guys there just to you know, hang out, talk to ball of course and just be able to, you know, do it for a good cause. You know, um, that's the reason why I'm doing it. And I'm excited to actually, you know, I've been talking about it for dang near a year and a half now. We need to get your first uh, fundraiser going, you know, uh, where you want to do it at. But the first thing I thought about was doing it at, um, here in Nashville. And the second part, I already knew I wanted to do it at was Hall's because that's one of my favorite restaurants. <laughs> um, of course, like I, I, I really, you know, enjoy going to Hall's. The, the um, people there are just amazing. You know, they're real friendly and nice. They're good to me and my family every time we go in there. So just um, didn't think of no other better place to do it um, than at all. So like I said, I know that was long-winded, but man, I, um, I appreciate you guys also for just help sponsoring this and being able to, you know, help me promote this because, you know, I, I want this to be huge. Um, I want it to be big, especially for my first one. Jeff, first and foremost, you can't just be giving out halls like that, man, because I like going there, too. Okay, and that little bar area, okay, a lot of folks know about it, but, like, now they're going to really know about it, Jeff. I don't know if I'm okay with that, because I like going, too. Hey, ho hopefully they can give, give y'all something a little discount next time, since y'all, you know, you we um, you got to help me sponsor this, and now that we know that it's one of your favorite ones, I got to make sure I um, hit up my guy, Chad. He the manager there, so. See, speak our language now. That's what Jeff. I'm talking about. But <laughs> with, with that also, too, Jeff, with your foundation, man, give them a reason, is is this. I heard you bring this up, and you said it a couple times, and you keep mentioning, you know, like uh, the confidence of it. And you mentioned it the young manager football camp that's deciding if he do or does not want to play football. Where, where was it for you in your life where you, where you felt like, all right, this is my moment to like either go right I usually say about 13 14 years old especially young males that play football we either go right or we go left and we hit the streets and we go with our homeboys doing stuff we're not supposed to um who either put that confidence in you Jeff to continue on or, or do you remember that moment where you had to make a decision and say yeah I'm I'm better suited doing it my way and that's chasing my dreams Man, I had no option. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I had, it wasn't no option for me. I was, that's why, um, I give all the praise to my mom, um, a lady who raised five kids on her own and a lady who made sure that I didn't mess up. Um, I'm talking about when it started, 
you know, when I was a kid, always up. My mom always is yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. It, it, it's been like that since I can remember. Um, you know, it, and it's the same thing with the streets. Like, I didn't have an option to go up the road to Johnny House. Like some, like you know, when my mom, my mom's biggest thing was you have a brother, you have two sisters. You get in that backyard. You don't, you don't have to go and do what everybody else doing. And like I said, I, I didn't have an option. And, and when I say it, it was her way or no way, like you, you, you wanted to do it her way. I'm telling you like that. <laughs> and cause it, it was my mom. I'm of course like, well, of course we, um, came from Louisiana as a, when I was a knee high baby. And, you know, I, I knew my mom was got raised old school just the way sometimes I used to hear her talk and, I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go down that road. I didn't want to mess with my mom. <laughs> like it, it's just something I didn't want to do. But yeah. man, like my aunt, when I say my mom is still like just everything in me that that we stand for as a family and that she stood for. Um, I, like I, I was telling um, one of my teammates the other day, we were just having a conversation. Like you know, I I've been the man of the house since. Maybe where she really put it into me like this: the you are the man of the house, and no man in this house. You and your brother are the man of the house. You protect your family. You protect this house, and um, that's one of the things that maybe since I was like probably seven or eight years old, it was just I was so young, and she was trying to instill that in me so young that you know it's okay to have friends, but you don't need friends because you have a family right here in this house that. And I knew it's like you know she didn't care. She didn't care if I got mad because I couldn't go to the road and shoot basketball or, or or do such and such, because she wanted to instill that you know I'm not raising you to be in the streets. I'm raising you to be a young man, you know, to respect everyone, um, especially your elders. So I think, man, I, I never had an option. It's always with my mom on me. Um, you know, I, I don't remember a time as a kid that I came in the house past the street lights, and that's. You know, you hear people saying that, but that that was real for me. You know, my yeah. mom didn't play that, so. I remember that one, too. I went and act like I was going to jump into a motel pool with my cousins, and my mama <laughs> hawked me down and beat me around the kitchen table. One, because I couldn't swim, okay? The other ones, why are you hanging with your cousins breaking and trespassing at a motel swimming pool? So, Jeff, I, I know where you're coming from on that one, okay? I still yeah, you don't remember that play with, you Don't play with them mamas, man. That's right. <laughs> Jeffrey Simmons with us uh, here this morning. Got individual sponsorships and tickets for this event September 16th at Hall's Chop House in Nashville. Uh, Abigail at William dash Raymond uh, dot com Jeff that that the best place to go anywhere else where people can can get involved with this um well I think I think that's exactly you hit it right heads on Perfect. you know um um either go to that link um of course I'll post it I'm gonna keep posting it on my Instagram awesome. or you know on my um also have a, my foundation page you give them a reason as well you know, I kind of started that last year so I'm still trying to grow that um so I make sure I keep posting that, and of course you can go re- reach out to Abigail at the email. And like I said, man, I appreciate you guys, and you know I'm looking forward to a great uh, first fan- fundraiser. I love it. Uh, well, Jeff, uh, we got a couple football questions for you here too, as well, because uh, we are not far away from Week One now. Uh, Rand Carthon quoted you on the final preseason broadcast, saying that y'all had a conversation where you were complimentary of how far this offensive line has come through training camp. But what have you seen from those guys, Jeff, as you guys take this last weekend to rest and, and where do you think they have uh, improved as you guys get ready for the season? Man, I, you know, a lot of people don't understand it, man, but, you know, guys who played in the trenches understand this. You know, we, a lot of people see all the, uh, of the fights and early in camp, but, you know, that, that to me, that would make a team. You know, when we first started training camp, you know, I guys know it's like I'm gonna come with my best A game. I'm gonna talk my smack, and you know, we first started camp. I'm like, this offense line is, is different. Like they are ready to show that they belong in this league. And a guy who I'm, you know, I think he one of the best guards in the, in the league. He um he he's strong as heck. Like sometimes I'll be trying to bull rush him, and he's just like this man, he really strong. So and that's Peter, man. Like. I, I I honestly believe, and you know I don't I don't I know mean, I don't really like offensive linemen like that. But my teammates, you know, I'm gonna give them their props. But you know, a guy like Peter, man, like I I feel like 
you know, I don't know if it's because, of course, like we always talk about it, it's Nashville, it's a tight, it's a little market, but I think people really need to watch Peter this year, and not just Peter, our whole offense line, but I've just been watching Peter since he came in as a rookie and seeing his growth, man. Like, it's it's, it's tremendous. It's like, I, I love his game, and, you know, now it's just like he – He's got that confidence. You know, he even talked to Liz Smack to me this, um, this camp, and I wasn't expecting it. And that's what I, that's, just, that's just a, I feel like, or where I came in as a, as a leader and as a, you know, as, as a defense line on his team to help him get that out of him. Because it's just like when you press this guy, like Peter, it's like, he got it, but it's something that he's not letting go. And when, when I tell you this camp, I just saw a different side of Peter and, and, even guys like that, I really went against like Dylan Raiders. You know, I I always had I thought Dylan was a great um, a great guy for one. But then when it comes to the football field, you know, he he's grimy, he's gritty, and I, he have got so much better. You know, just it, it's crazy because you know you'd be like, man, you know, I'm finna I'm finna beat him on this rush or whatever. Maybe I got this rush in my head and then shut it down. And that just you know that shows growth for our offensive line and being able to. You know, I mean, we got one of the best offense at night. One of the best. I think he's the best offense line coach in the NFL. So, so when, when you get when you get guys like you know that are, that we have already on the offense line, and guys like Kush coming in, and now we got Dylan back. I mean, um, Nick Nick back. And then of course you got JC Big Big Tail over there, left tackle. So, you know, I, I think they that offensive line have been they put they got put together perfectly. Um, if we can stay healthy, man, I think I think it's gonna be a long, a long uh, year for us. And you know, I, I I just feel like our offense has got so much better, man. And, you know, it's been fun to go against them doing camp, and um, I, I, just, I can't wait to see them um, next Sunday. And you know, just to put it all on um, show for real. Man, I'm glad you keep the same energy we feel about y'all too, Jeff. We don't like y'all D <laughs> like that, man, but we appreciate y'all though. <laughs> you feel me? Um, it's all good. We just trying to get each other better. You better it's believe all, it. I got tell, I got tell him, man. Like after every time, you know, it, it could be a hard practice where somebody gets to pushing, or just like after that first day of pass, like you know, we gonna compete. That's what it's about. We gonna we gonna we might fight. We gonna talk smack. By the end of the day, we're a team, and we try. We we got it's one goal, and that's to win the Super Bowl at the end. So, um, like I said, we that's one thing. That's why I love the trenches, man. We compete harder than anybody on the field. No doubt. Also, this this year too, man. On the other side of the ball, Jeff, I, I think when you recognize people have good players. Uh, on the way to greatness, all pros and pro bowls like yourself and Amani's in that conversation. You guys lost a few guys this this past year. On this side of it and on the fan side, you don't want to see talent wasted. You know what I'm saying? You see a really good player on the team, you say, man, that guy needs some help. Well, Jeff, you got some help this offseason, man. Tavondre coming in. Ernest Jones just got that pick. And, of course, uh, Kenneth Murray, et cetera. We can continue to go down this line. If I'm not mistaken, seven of the 11 starters on your side of the ball is new. And they're not just new, Jeff. You know these guys around the league, and they've made plays in other cities. How excited are you for this defense, Jeff? Without giving away too much, man, like where, where are you at mentally with your side of the ball? I'm ready to play some football. What am I tell you that? Um, it, 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 it's exciting, man. When you when you at practice and even even in preseason game, you you see flashes of of like guys like Sway when I started because he uh, in my room and you know I'm not just talking to him. Like first of all, bro, if you get all that weight going forward. Nobody can stop you. The second thing we have to do is just, of course, you know, get your motor going um, a little faster sometimes. Um, when, you know, one thing we talk about with him, just feel, when I say motor, not saying he out of shape or nothing like that. What I'm saying is when guys, and you, you know, with offensive linemen, first thing they're going to do when they feel sweat, they're going to anchor. Yep. They feel that big. 300 some well I'll, 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 I'm not going to put it away. Don't, don't do it, Jeff. They, don't do they, it. They, they, <laughs> it's a 300 feel, plus. Yeah, yeah, 300 plus. When they feel all that coming forward, that's no way they finna just let him bull. So they trying their best to anchor. And I and I always tell him, you know, you have to get a timer in your head because if, I told I said I said we don't I don't want you to get pressures. I don't want you to get just hits on quarterback. I want you to get sacked. And um and that's one of the things that I constantly talk to him about like. Get a clock in your head when you're on your bullet rush. You know, just 
get a clock and it should be like it should be two two seconds or, or one with you because you're so big. But you know when you bull rushing guys, you're being able to get that motor going in your head that all right, I know I'm finna knock him back. Nah, get off and go make a play. So man, it, it, it's been fun to watch his growth. Um, a guy who want to be good. And and honestly, man, he loved to learn. Like you know, he always asking questions, and you know that's the thing you, you can appreciate. You know, I'm, I'm I could call myself the vet in the room now. You know, I'm not the young, youngest guy no more, and I've been here the longest. So it's like it, it's fun to be able to, you know, give out to things that I get I got like from guys like Jarrell Casey. So you know, it's been fun to watch him grow as a player. And then, like you said, we can go on and on with our with our uh, new additions, like guys like Kendamir, man, like. That's probably one of the guys who I'm most excited to play with this year. You know, um, I, I knew I knew of him. You know, guy, you know, first rounder when he got in, he was a dog when you know up, up there in LA. And you know, he's a guy that you know he demand he wanted he demand greatness. I would say, um, you know, they like everyone know like Denard said he he got the green dot, but he had the green light, and that just him. You know, being able to play fast, come down a hill, and be aggressive, and uh, just to hear him sometimes talk, you know, that's getting me so motivated to, you know, hear things like that from a guy who just got here, who sounds like he's been here, and that just shows you the respect he has just by being voted captain this year uh, with us. So, you know, not, like I said, I'm just excited to play with him. So, um, and then of course our back end, I should be, you saw what I tweeted when we got like guys like Snead and. You know, we got the back end with Diggs, Jamal, you know, we, we Cheeto, you know, I, I feel like we put this random did a hell of a job, you know, just by getting guys in here. Because, I mean, as you know, you need players to win in this league. And the guys who we brought in is some real players. Um, you know, you've been hearing them all, all in the NFL before they even got to Tennessee. So, like I said, man, I'm, I'm so excited just to get back to practice next week because I know it's game week and, you know, it's, we, I could finally be able to get on the field with them guys um, next Sunday. So I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, Denard been doing a hell of a job of just getting his message across that the way he wants us to play as a whole defense, and he don't care who it is, me all the way down to guys who just got into the building. You know, he, he going to make sure and he want things uh, done the way he want it done, the way he wants you to play his defense. So, like I said, man, I'm I'm so excited for next weekend. You know, I'm of course I'm gonna go down to Mississippi this weekend, but okay. I, I think I think my biggest like I'm I'm so ready to just go play some football and and being able to go to Chicago week one against you know a rookie quarterback is not a better um, opportunity for us. I would say. No I love doubt. it. Jeffrey Simmons has been our guest this morning here on Ramon, Kayla, and Will. Again, uh, individual sponsorships, tickets to his Give Him a Reason event, cocktails and conversations coming up September 16th at Hall's Chop House and here in Nashville. Uh, sponsorships and tickets, Abigail at William dash raymond.com uh, jeff we're excited to uh to partner with you on this man uh really cool what you're doing in the community and i uh, really appreciate the time this morning i appreciate you guys as well like i said it uh, means a lot um that you guys you know being able to do this for me and help sponsor this event um you know i said whatever you guys ever come across especially when if it's about the kids or any opportunity that you guys have or um ideas in the community let me know and um, like I said, I'm all for it. So, um, like I said, I appreciate it. And Ramon, I know y'all got a little layup game uh, tomorrow <laughs> or whenever y'all play. But We both got our uh, orange on today, Jeff. Don't worry. <laughs> See, Jeff? I, 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 saw, no, I saw it when I got up this morning. I said, okay, they got their orange on. <laughs> See? I made sure I put my Mississippi State shirt on before See? I went, went down this weekend. Jeff, but, uh, See? Nah, I'm messing with you, man. No, no, no. No, this is what we do, Jeff. Don't don't get on the airwaves and act like we can't do this because I was going to let you off the hook. You know what I was going to say, Jeff? I was like, man, I, I, I wanted to know how you feel about your Bulldogs because we scheduled y'all for homecoming this year. <laughs> nah, yeah, I, I don't think y'all would want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. So is, is it homecoming for real? It is. It is. I, it, it, it is. 
See, Ramon, I like you. Now, now I don't even know what to say no more. That, that's you, so disrespectful. No, that's see, a, you I see, it. I see you some it. sort of charitable wager in our future as that game approaches, I'm Jeff, is what, I, is what I'm hearing. That, that is so disrespectful. <laughs> now, look, I, I see, I, I had to just pull it up. November 8th. And that's crazy. Homecoming. <laughs> hey, Jeff, all I'm telling you is this, man. You started it. It's football season. And the SEC does just mean more. You know that. Well, y'all probably been lost five straight by the time we get to y'all. So <laughs> right, we'll, we'll, see, we'll, we'll see y'all from home coming. I love it. <laughs> Jeffrey Simmons, right. our guest yeah, this enjoy morning. Enjoy off week, man. Jeff, we really appreciate it, man. We'll talk soon. Well, definitely. Y'all have a good one. Yes, yes sir. sir. There's Jeffrey Simmons. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I knew it was it. coming. I, I, we couldn't get off this phone without something. I know. I love that he's tuned in on Zone TV as the show starts. <laughs> Jeffrey Simmons at the FNN Bank Chat. You should be there as well. Uh, we'll wrap up Hour 3 coming up next.